Uh, but regardless, like the, the process of terraforming a planet would take hundreds, <laughs> if not thousands of years. I mean, it would take a really, really long time to do it. So maybe for now we should just focus on colonizing Mars. And then if we want to make it habitable without a space suit, then that's another project we can take on. Yeah. But it certainly is possible. Um, and something to think about is uh, with the climate change that we're dealing with, our activities on the Earth have changed the atmosphere of our planet. And so in a way, yeah. that's kind of an unfortunate proof of concept that we could theoretically change the atmosphere on another planet as well, but for the good. Right, for a, for a good purpose. I was gonna say, if you were born and raised on Mars, hypothetically, right? And you were, it was not terraformed, so you were used to wearing a space suit, right? And that's where you spent all your life. And then you visited Earth. Would you be like Buzz Lightyear when someone opened up your, your helmet? You're like, <gasps> you think you can't breathe? You're having a panic attack? That feels like something that might would be. Immediately I thought of that, so. That is true. People talk, <laughs> people talk about the, uh, the, 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 the first generation of kids to grow up on Mars, that their parents are probably alive today, which would be really cool to see that happen. That would be amazing. 